Hello, welcome back. This is the first Q&A, part two, because home ed and parenting, there were quite a few questions and I waffled, as I do. <coughs> I edited, I'll edit it down a bit, but I waffled. He's choking on his food again. You'd think I was saying something funny. I think he just has a hyperactive gag reflex. <laughs> Can you see his face? Anyway, so the next set of questions are lifestyle questions. I'm just basically all the other ones. I smushed them into a pile. Okay, so number one. What plans slash products do you use for home organisation? See, this is reasonably new for me. As those of you who know me, I can always see if my parents are watching this them paying themselves laughing this is reasonably new for me the, the thought like i always try to be organized now i probably have adhd myself and organization is not my forte like nope. at all oh be quiet you mr aspie here you can organize the word organization so a little what focus i found um a amazing e-course by um, Lindsay from Hope and Homeschool called the Mom Binder. Now I call it a house binder because as I've said before the patriarchy and feminism but the pr is exactly the same thing. So Lindsay encourages <laughs> you to have a morning routine that you that you do every morning and um sometimes I don't stick to it and or I do a shortened version and she says that's fine but basically to organize your morning and to become productive as soon as you get up um because once you've done a load of laundry 10 minutes washing up I don't know fed the dog fed yourself fed yourself you know you thank you um you're like you're more you, you start your day off productive you're more likely to be productive for the rest of the day and then she encourages you to do zone cleaning. So that's things like Fly Lady. Um, if you don't know these names, look them up. I'll put the things in comments. Um, or the organised mum method. Now, I've never got on with Fly Lady. I have tried something called Simply Clean before, which is by Becky Rappenchuk. Um, like, a lot of it's very religious with Lindsay. If that's not your cup of tea, just ignore it. Because... The advice she has is sound, just take the Jesus out of it if you're not into it. Um, so I will just show you very quickly my mom binder. Um, that's my morning routine. Here are in the front. And I have, mine's organised by floor. So I have my top floor because we have a three storey townhouse. I haven't mentioned that before. We could even make a drinking game out of me. Um, we have a top, I have a top floor, middle floor and bottom floor routine and then by the time I have finished that we should be ready to leave the house no matter what the situation. Um, and by doing that I timed myself doing it on a day when I didn't have anywhere to go and then basically set myself like a time limit with extra time so if I was having a slow morning I could be, I have an extra 10 minutes basically or more. And then I have a bedtime routine, but I still haven't worked out the bedtime routine yet. So the morning routine's going well. I'm now doing it. I've been doing it like a week and a half and I'm now doing it without carrying the piece of paper around with me. <laughs> Yay! Um, bedtime routine I'm still working on. But then the organised mum method, I don't know if you can see very well. There's an app and a book and loads of printables and a Facebook group. Um, and there's a Facebook group for the um, mom binder to please join it. It's really good the e-course is free the book for the organized mum method is like six quid on kindle it's the best six quid you'll ever spend in your life um so these are the jobs i was telling you about for the kids they're all on these little exam revision cards so like level one jobs for the kids it's level one jobs are the jobs you do every single day for me it's um quick sweep and hoover main traffic areas mop floor weekly if you have hard floors make beds bathroom quick clean one load of laundry and the kids are make your bed, give food to the guinea pigs, put dirty clothes in the hamper and five minute bedroom tidy. <laughs> These don't happen every day, but the point is that at least one of them happens every day. You know, they, we're all working on it. It's a lifestyle change, isn't it? Yeah. We'll get there eventually. Um, and then 
there's a rotate, rotating thing each week. You can see that. So that's like, ooh, gosh. That's like week one, week two. And there's a different focus each week for like Friday, you do all things on the Friday. And then there's a different day. Monday's living room, Tuesday's bedrooms, Wednesday entrance hall, Thursday kitchen, that kind of thing. Um, I mean, this turned into kind of a planning binder. I kind of turned it into planning everything. So I have homeschool stuff, dental appointments for myself because I have lots of work to be done. Um, things I want to train our dog to do, stuff I want to do with my horses, that sort of thing. So that's Organised Mum Method and Hope and Homeschool's Mum Binder course. Seriously, I'll link them. They'll change your life. When they say they'll change your life, they're not joking. They're really not. Um, so the next one was what exercise routine are you following? Ah, I'm loving this and I actually have to do this before I go to bed. And I've actually got him, Mr. Boo here, doing it too, but not the same one. I'm doing one that's called female fitness. And I don't think it matters if you're female. Oh, look, it just says I rock. How's that nice? Just, I signed in and it said, you rock. <coughs> Thanks. So it's, this is it. it oh, can you see that? It's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen, is it? Okay. And I'm doing the full body challenge, which is the first one and it wants you to do four workouts a week at least and um yeah so i am doing day four today they're getting harder with every single one but you know when you do a really good workout and you're like that was good it's that kind of thing but it has like an abs beginner a butt beginner a thigh beginner um and but the one i'm doing works on everything so it does arms legs bum and abs um if you are chronic if you have a chronic illness that is worsened by exertion don't do the full body challenge <laughs> that's my suggestion to you <laughs> just do one of them <laughs> do one of the like one of the beginner ones but it is really good if you don't have chronic any chronic pain or anything like that it totally be up right up the street um so the next one was daily routines we have a different daily routine every single day because we have different things we're doing every single day and um but i will do videos on those mm -hmm. i will the kids have different things in each day so they do they go to a forest school on a monday and then charles has taekwondo in the afternoon and albert goes to nursery mm -hmm. on a tuesday we tend to maybe have a play date or go to the park on bikes or something like that as well as doing our usual homeschool and then Bessie has ballet in the um in the afternoon Wednesdays is mainly a home day or a play date day or something like that Thursdays it's a bit of a busy day um oh and Tuesdays Albert has nursery as well Thursday Albert has nursery the big two have swimming then we have a couple of hours where we chill out and then I'm a rainbow unit helper and at Bessie's um, rainbow unit. So, um, who's, she's in the room. She's just come downstairs. It's quarter past eight. I'm not impressed. Um, and, and yeah, and then I do that. And then Fridays again, is kind of a chill out thing. And then I try to keep the routines similar on the weekends, but they kind of flop because Phil's here and we just want to chill out and jammy and stuff. But, um, but yeah, it's pretty much very similar. Um, so how do you, how do you and Phil balance childcare and housework? Well, I do majority of both, if I'm honest, but that's just because Phil's not here. Um, although when Phil is here, even though he's been at work all day, and I hate it when people say, oh, but he's been at work all day. I don't care. So have I. Um, <laughs> patriarchy. <laughs> It's feminism. Anyway, <clears throat> I'll stop. Um, Phil is off every Tuesday without fail to give me a break. And he's also off weekends. So he has three days, three days out of seven, he is at home. On Tuesdays, I will quite often just disappear for a few hours at the paddocks. Um, and I'll quite often do it at the weekends as well. Sunday I spent most of the day away from home because I was up at the paddocks um my friends were there who um who pony with me <laughs> that sounds awful um and um yeah we would end up going to a tax shop and I didn't get back till like 3 30 4 o'clock so um 
housework, we follow the organised mum method and I do as much as I can during the day and whatever's left over, Phil does when he gets home. Sometimes it's a lot, sometimes it's nothing, sometimes it's a little bit, but he picks, he picks up my slack. Whatever I don't get done when I'm here, he does. And when he walks in from work, he says hello to everyone, kisses everyone. Sometimes he does, sometimes he does this while he's kissing everyone and he starts tidying up the lounge. Then he goes in, he does about half an hour of washing up um, and then starts dinner usually because he is i'd say he's super he's awesome he's wonderful but actually no, he's just a normal human being that's what you're everyone is supposed to give 100 percent. okay there's no oh well it's 50 percent minus they're 50 percent my kids no 100 percent. everyone gives 100 percent when they are in this house but yeah we just put in 100 percent. when we are both when we are here we put in 100 percent. and quite often when we're both here i will take a step back and i will ask your dad um, and and let him take over or I just go out so we have a pretty good co-parenting balance in that we both put 100% in when we're here so. any holidays planned not really we're hoping to go camping with my parents sorry I had to go settle Bessie and get myself a glass of wine because autistic do it's called autistic daughter Oh, right. Um, and any holidays planned? That was it, wasn't it? See, so we're going, hopefully going camping with my parents and hopefully doing like a big family thing with Phil's family, like staying in a big house somewhere. Um, but other than that, no. And I'm actually okay with that. So, um, local days out. Local days out that we like. Uh, we like the New Forest Wildlife Park. I would go there every day. Really. If, you know, yeah, I really like it there. Um, where else do I like? I like Lima Landing soft play. I like Monkey Madness soft play because I send them off and I sit with my phone just for an hour. Um, <laughs> uh, what else do I like? Long Down Activity Farm is okay, uh, but kind of once you've been there, you've you've done it. Um, but the kids love it every single time, and at the end of the day, that's what's important, isn't it? Uh, Manor Farm. In Hampshire, really love it there. Again, very similar. Once you've done it, you've done it. But the kids would just go back all the time. So, um, there was a lot of parks. We have a lot of parks. And we're very lucky to live in the New Forest. So, really, we just do a lot of New Foresty stuff. Um, also, Moores Valley Country Park. We were there today with some really great friends of ours. And, oh, it's just so nice. There's a park, there's a steam railway, there's loads of walks, bike rides, there's a play trail. Oh, it's just, it's great. It's really great. I really like it. How many children did you and both you both want? This is a bit of like a sensitive subject, if I'm honest. Not like a can't talk about it, but is there's like sadness there. So um, I wanted six. <laughs> I can see some of you laughing. Um, and Phil wanted four. Now Phil is one of four, so he wanted to have the same as his parents, the same as his grandparents. Um, and I am biologically an only child. <laughs> Um, I have two stepbrothers and a stepsister who I really only am close to my stepsister um, but really wanted to have a big family so um, and that won't happen biologically anymore because I suffer from hypermesis gravidarum and we decided I say we decided Phil decided really that we weren't having any more biological children he had a vasectomy um, when Albert was about nine months old um, and I'm okay with it now, but it's taken me a long time to be okay with it. Um, but we would like to add more children to our family. Not now, <laughs> because everyone's very intense, but when they're older, um, the average age of the UK adopter is 38. I'm only 29. So who knows what's in the future? We both are very interested in adding children to our family in a way that's not through my uterus. <laughs> um, do you do meal plans? I try and fail. <laughs> um, I spend, because of my hyper focus, I spend so long planning the meal plan that by the time I've planned the meals, I haven't got the energy to do the shopping list or I just put everything I need onto a shopping list and then Phil has to go through the shopping list and be like, babe, we've got, oh no, he doesn't say babe, he doesn't call that, darling, darling, we've got that, darling, we've got three of those from when this happened before. Darling, 
no not happening too expensive and so on um so no i feel like phil tends to, phil tends to do the, the shopping because i forget and then we're like everyone's like we're starving and i'm like let's order a takeaway and we're poor we can't do that um so phil tends to just order basic ingredients don't you yep. like we are not vegan so meat and veg and potatoes pasta rice sort of thing and then and then different cooking sauces and seasonings and that sort of thing and then we just kind of cobble stuff together we are trying to get into meal planning but one step at a time one step at a time do you do the same meals for everyone or different same meals for everybody for our dinners when we have a family dinner everybody has the same thing because by the time we get to bedtime but like the you know the evening routine i am too tired to do anything else and i suppose that's a little bit left over from our own parenting in the sense that you know you kind of eat what you're given but we don't cook anything that they won't like so um yeah we all have the same dinner however everyone's allowed different breakfasts and different lunches so if charles wants a peanut butter sandwich and bessie wants a jam sandwich then that's fine i'm happy to make different things when i have the energy to so breakfast and lunch everyone has different or the, if the same if they want it or different if they want it but dinner everybody has the same um and my kind of thing there would be if they didn't want to eat what i'd given them then they have to make their own food sometimes they eat what's given them and sometimes they go make themselves a sandwich or a bowl of cereal so and i eat their dinner but that's very rarely really isn't it they're not very yeah not very often yeah. they do because they, they cook because we only cook what they like and if it's something that I think they won't like I give them another option or we feed the kids earlier and then Phil and I will eat it later so for example Phil and I love fajitas and um, if we're having fajitas we eat them we have dinner like we would be having dinner now if we were having fajitas and the kids would have had something else not spicy earlier in the day um would you like to travel anywhere in the world yes and no i don't like flying and most of the places i would want to go would involve being on a plane um if everyone else was desperate to go to them i would say yes but if i if i could conquer that i would want to go to america only because my uncle and auntie live there and I love them dearly and miss them dreadfully and I know they're probably watching this video um, and I would love to go and visit them it would absolutely make my life if I could go and visit them I yeah I don't I wouldn't give a monkeys about going anywhere else in the US I just want to go and see my aunt and uncle um, I would love to go to Belarus to see um, some dear friends of ours who live there i would like to go back to mallorca we went to mallorca last year absolutely yeah. loved it it was an all-inclusive week holiday it was lush um i'd love to go back there because the staff were just so amazing and the food was to die for oh my god spanish food made in spain lush um uh would i like to go anywhere else i'd like to go to cyprus maybe see where lily was born i'd probably come back with another dog though no 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 such thing as the word no um i don't know i'd like to go back to kenya i went to kenya as a teenager i'd like to go back to kenya i'd like to take the my family I'd like to take phil and the kids and show them everything there but not really first is there anywhere let's have phil back in hello phil oh hang on there you go hello phil is there anywhere in the world you'd like to travel not overly. Not overly. Iceland. He just doesn't like change. It's a lot of effort to go on holiday, <laughs> isn't it, babe? Yes. <laughs> Iceland, Finland, somewhere like that. Somewhere cold. Weirdo. We did actually see once, before Charles was born, a um, job a job for a marine biologist in Alaska. And once upon a time, Phil wanted to be a marine, marine biologist. And he actually said this sentence to me do you love me enough to live in minus 40 temperatures <laughs> and i said no <laughs> um so what's the next one what's your dream job it's not and, and, and there's a stay-at-home mom work from home no stay at home a stay-at-home mom is 
I'm not a stay at home mum. I'm just a mum. I don't really give myself that label because I don't do very much staying at home. Like, kind of busy. Um, my dream job would be to be a wedding dress designer. That's what I would love to do. Um, is there anything else I would like to do? So I think someone's much asked me another question. Um, wedding dress designer. I might, I'd like to impart the wisdom I'm learning about routines and healthy eating and butt kicking, like kicking butt, because I'm kicking my own butt. Like, could I transfer that into kicking other people's butt? Would you say I'm good at telling people what to do? <laughs> Most of the time. Most of the time. Um, so yeah, either, so I'd like to, I'd like to design, I'd like to design and make wedding dresses, but I'm, I'd also like to do that. Also, animal communication, that's a thing I do. Um, I'd love to turn that into a career. That would be awesome. And uh, turn the page, we're almost done. This is another really long video, I'm sorry. Oh no, I'm not, I think we are done. That's it, oh, awesome, we're done. There you go. So the last question, which was from my friend Holly, if I can find it again, on my method, I'm not being antisocial, I promise. Was, did you watch the Ben Fogel show last night about a family living off grid in a yurt and home educating? If so, what do you think? What similarities or differences are there in your approaches? I have not watched it, but I want to now. <laughs> can I let you know? I will let you know via uh, maybe another video. Or maybe I'll review it. Maybe you could do a goggle box and you could watch me watching it, which would mean that I wasn't looking at the screen because attention span. <laughs> Thank you if you've got this far on both videos. Kudos. And I love you and I'm really enjoying doing these videos. A lot of you have asked for daily routine videos and what our days consist of. So those videos will come next. Enjoy. Have a great evening. Bye.